ARDA is the Ames Roller Derby Association and we are located in Ames, Iowa. ARDA was created with the understanding that it would be kind of an umbrella organization for many teams to fall underneath of us. Our first team is Skunk River Riot. In the future we hope to have men's teams, junior teams, um, all-star teams. We are just in the beginning growing stages, so hopefully ARDA becomes something huge. My name is Mindy. My derby name is Torque and Mindy. I mostly block, but I do some jamming as well. I have been playing roller derby since September of 2011. Ever since I was little, I just, all I could think about was, I wish there was a sport I could play on my roller skates. And so, roller derby was like the answer to a prayer. You all have to try to get past me. If I tag you, you're it and you turn backwards. And then you, therefore, get to tag people too. So, I'll be in first. I prefer to play the position of blocker over the position of jammer. There's so much pressure in that moment when that whistle blows. Those jammers come in sometimes with so much power. Being able to hold them back as long as possible and learn the different techniques and working with your teammates is a lot of fun. I like to work with my teammates. I like being able to use them and feel connected to them in that way and what we can do together. Jamming has so much more pressure because you're out there alone. It's just you scoring those points, and I feel like there's so much more pressure than when you walk. Definitely something that I'm still working on, not something I started out doing. I started out as a blocker, so Learning to jam is its completely different. It's also kind of fun because it kind of makes you feel like you're wearing the star and you're kind of the star for those two minutes. I heard about roller derby mostly through some new segments that I saw on um, the teams in Des Moines. I'd also done some research on the internet. Once I saw that, I was like, hey, cool, this looks awesome. And then of course the movie Whip It came out. And once I saw that, I was like, yeah, I have to try this. I would define Derby as strength and family and team, commitment, dedication, fun. So Andra, Mel, Christine, and Erin, you guys are just going to start. Just start right here in a pack. We are going to play the Death to the Jammers game, so... Um, Jess and Kim and I are going to stay on the outside. Well, one of us is going to start in. Everybody else is blocking. The goal is, it's really a jammer drill, to get jammers used to being exhausted. Are we hitting full force? Um, let's, you can hit, but let's maybe like 50%. Let's okay. not. Okay. 
The amount of training and the amount of strength and the amount of power and the amount of things that we do to our bodies to play this game, it's, it's incredible. When people ask me how does roller derby work, at first I had no idea so I really couldn't tell them. But through what I've learned, it's, it's a little bit like football mixed with Red Rover. So you have the two jammers which are kind of like your wide receivers in a way or your quarterbacks and they're trying to get through the pack of people. And so that's kind of the way I explain it to people. The jammers are really the only ones that can score the points. You don't want them to get through, so you need to know where they are the whole time. So when they're trying to get through, they have to bust through the first time around and then when they come back around the track that's when you really got to watch them because that's when they can start scoring points so that's the way i try to explain it to people when they don't really know what it is i say just look for the person with the star in their head and know that everybody else doesn't want them to get through except for their own teammates so it's a lot of offense a lot of defense a lot of hitting a lot of sweating and a lot of fun my name is Janine Wiggins Tellinghusen, and my derby name is Booty Vicious. I've been playing for about almost a year. How I knew roller derby was for me was it was a contact sport. It is a contact sport and it's a lot of women that I see are just like me. They really like to get out there and get physical with each other, uh, encourage each other, empower each other, and I really like sports that do that, and this was one sport that I saw all of that happening, and I, I knew that that was something that I wanted to be a part of. How has it changed me? It's allowed me to continue being physical. That's my personality is, uh, I like to be really physical. I like to be active. I found out about roller derby through a friend of mine. It was actually a coworker. Uh, we worked housekeeping together and she knew that I liked contact sports. I'd been in martial arts before. So she mentioned it to me and it turned out that the location, which was where we practice, was really close to where I live and I was really surprised to hear that Ames had a roller derby team and it's right up my alley. I got to watch some of the girls, some of the women playing on the track and it looked really exciting and it looked like something that I was really comfortable with and that I thought I could be good at and it was new to me. I had never done anything like it before and so I was really excited to try some new challenge in my life. A place for me to um, also encourage others because I tend to be a teacher type so I really like to help other people reach their potential so there's a lot of me helping others reach their potential as well as other people encouraging me to reach my potential and I would say that it's a really great learning environment and um, it's a place for me to continue to grow for as long as my body will hold out. <laughs>
I could not wait to get back on the floor. All the way back! And back in the play. She is not to... Dubuque Quat was my first belt back um, after breaking my wrist. I had probably the most fun that I've ever had in any bout, despite the score. We played so hard. We had so much fun. Dubuque is such a great team to play. Their team is so nice. It was a blast. Probably my favorite bout. Number nine, Booty Vicious. The Dubuque bout was a really good time. I was really excited about that bout, particularly because I'd heard that the competition was a little bit better than us. I mean, we went in there kind of knowing we probably wouldn't win, but that they were a nice team. They weren't out for blood, but they were still going to give us their best. And I really enjoy playing teams that are better because I learn from that. It really helps me to pay attention to what's going on. And it means that I can go my full 100% as an athlete out there on the track and play with other women that are doing the same thing. And that is so fun to me. I love every minute of it. I love getting hit. I love hitting. It feels good. And it's great that you can be 100% competitive with other people on the track and then go have a great time afterwards. There's nothing better than that. So in the debut bout, my goal was to really watch the jammer because our team had been struggling a little bit with watching the jammer. So I was really trying hard in the debut bout to know where the jammer was of the opposing team the whole time. So sometimes I abandoned my pack to make sure that I was over there chasing the jammer. And I'm still working on my balance a little bit. So a couple of times I fell down, but I'm really trying to work on that balance and hitting a jammer out without going with them. Going up against Jessica Zell. So it was really scary getting out there to the jam line for the first time and having them announce my name. And there was a lot of pressure. You know, your heart is racing and you're not sure what you're doing out there. <laughs> it's scary. Once you start moving, it's, it's all just, you're just going, you're just pushing. and. Those girls were tough, like they, they really put up a good wall and they made a lot of fun and really challenging. It got really hard to get up again after a while. I'd say the hardest part about that bout was having to keep getting up from falling down when your legs are starting to turn into jello and just getting up is a lot of work and then you, you're exhausted just from you know trying to pull yourself up off of the floor and then you have to keep going and you have to run and you have to sprint after these girls and then try to plow through them again. It's intense, but it's so much fun. I'm Jessica Blake. My derby name is Jessica Zell. I've been practicing for the position of jammer. about a year. I heard about roller derby from a friend here in town. I'm much more athletic than I used to be. I've never really had a sport that I was passionate about before, so this has really changed my view of sports in general. I've always thought about my body in terms of um, how much I weigh, um, or how I look in the mirror, but now I think about my body in terms of how much I can do with it. The best thing about derby, it's silly, but I really just like wearing the skates. Some people get kicks out of motorcycles, and I like motorcycles too, but um, having the power in my own body to push myself forward and you hit the trail and feel the wind in your hair and it's all your own doing, it's just human on wheels. That's a really cool feeling. Uh, derby to me is putting myself out there. I feel like if I can put on a pair of skates and use my body as a battering ram, 
that I can go to work or go to the store and just be myself and I don't have to worry so much about what other people are thinking. But for fresh meat, I say read some of the blogs online, you know, find out what you're getting into in terms of, you know, things like cost, but also um, the amount of time you're going to be putting into this. This is a sport. It's not a leisure activity that, you know, when you feel like going to the gym, you just, you know, show up. You, you know, you're, you're part of a team. You're expected to be there regularly and um, expect to put a lot of time into it. Expect to, you know, expect to have your body make changes to adjust to this type of sport and um, know that, you know, the amount of confidence that you put into it uh, is affecting how you play in the game. You have to be out there putting your whole self into it all the time. So be prepared for that. Yeah, I mean, I hope, you know, like, when I'm jamming, if, if I should be calling it, okay, well, and I'm yeah. not, that you guys are, like, doing that motion. I've there. been thinking about it's having, hard. like, a like, red bandana that I wave. Is can that? we? Well, yeah, yeah, we totally can. Okay. As long as you're a coach. Yeah. Well, the Jersey situation is that we have put an order in for basically new practice jerseys and we wanted to get double use out of them as an alternate bouting jersey. The last order that we got, the sizes were a little bit wonky and didn't quite fit everybody the way they should. We're hoping that we get them by Saturday because it's our last bout and it's one of the teams that has the same team colors we do, so we're going to need them. <laughs> so that's kind of what's going on with them right now. Um, they are getting uh, printed today and the sizes are okay. Tracy, our merch gal, checked them out and turns out they're going to be just fine. So. Our next bow is against the Minnesota Southbound Rollers. And this is a rematch. We played them in April. This is about I missed due to my injury. So I am just looking forward to playing a new team. And I'm looking forward to playing it with my team. For the next bow, I am super excited uh, that I will have improved because it is only my second bout and I learned so much in the first bout that I feel like this is really going to be a chance to show off what I'm actually capable of. The one thing that I'm looking most forward to is seeing how much I've learned, how that's going to pay off. Now that I'm considered a pretty experienced skater, I would say, I'm definitely not an A player, but I have a really good understanding of how it's played now, and I have a really good idea of some strategies, and I've been able to practice some skills. So I am actually really excited to see how my growth is going to play a role in hopefully the winning of this bout. <laughs> Thank you.
has definitely made me more confident and just a stronger person. I realize if I can play roller derby, there's really not much I can't do. My favorite thing about roller derby in this team is the people that I get to play with. They are a great group of girls, a great group of women, the team spirit. We would do anything for each other. That and the fact that we are all awesome athletes. Being able to do this together, it's, you know, it's not, there's things that we're working on as individuals, but there's also things that we're working on as a team. So you get a little bit of that individual growth, but you also get that growth as a team. You get that glue, that gel, that you start getting to know your players. And of course it's, half the fun is to celebrate whether you won or lose afterwards. It's a sisterhood and there's nothing better than that. Derby is really a place for me to be myself. I can act silly and um, just have fun. My favorite thing about Skunk River Riot is the, just the, I think it's the diversity of our team. There is nothing that this team cannot do. These girls are absolutely wonderful. I'm amazed at the amount of talent, not only on the track, but outside of the track. It's, it's incredible. The best part about the team is that I rarely see a girl who gives up. No one ever throws up their arms and walks away. I've never seen them yell at each other inappropriately. It's such a drama-free place. And in a world where there's just so much drama all the time, having a group of people as tolerant and open-minded as these ladies are is truly a breath of fresh air. Probably the best part about it is the camaraderie. I really like sports that have camaraderie and it's kind of like a sisterhood. I would say that roller derby to me is a place for me to continue to feel empowered. It's a really great environment where there's nothing but support and love all the time. How can you not love that? Well, I would say with fresh me, you know, just keep trying. Uh, a lot of times it's going to take not just once, not twice, you know, good things come to those who really put the work in and try hard. Just don't doubt yourself. You can absolutely play this game if you just have confidence in yourself. There's nothing that you can't do. Let yourself go, train hard, have fun, and you will absolutely succeed.